Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your PlayStation 4 controllers with a Bluetooth dongle like this, connect it to Steam and adjust the settings of the buttons, the gyro and the touchpad and stuff. So the first thing you do is you plug your Bluetooth dongle into your computer. Once you've done that, there should be a symbol down here, your Bluetooth symbol, showing that it's connected. Then what you do is you hold in the PlayStation button and the share button for about three seconds until you get a flashing light looking like this. Then you right click on your Bluetooth, say add Bluetooth device. As you can see I've already paired the three others. It will come up, say, ready to pair. You click, and you say pair. It's pairing. Now it's paired, and it's also connected. You can close down your menu. Then you need to turn off your controller by holding down the PlayStation button for 10 seconds. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open Steam. Once you're in Steam, you go into big picture mode in big picture mode you go into settings in the corner you go into control settings you tick the box at PS4 configuration support this will prompt you saying that it has to be disconnected all your controllers or the controller that, you that you're trying to connect. Once you've done that, then you turn on the controller with the PlayStation button. It will detect a controller. I have already had this one connected before, but if you haven't had connect before, you choose down here detect the controllers and you should get the chances to choose your preferences navigate with your keyboard in the preferences you'll be able to adjust the name of your controller the rumble on and off the color the brightness of the light and the saturation of the color then you press submit to uh, save your controller's IP address to your Steam account. So if you connect it to, uh, let's say, your laptop, uh, the same controller, it will have the same preferences next time you use it there. I'll press cancel because I've already set mine up before. Once you've done that, all you need to do is uh, do the same thing to the other controllers. I'll now turn on my remaining three controllers. They will pop up there and they have all been saved before. Give it the names they have. And you can now navigate with the controller instead of the mouse in big picture here. So once you've done that, you go into a, a game to configure your settings for the other buttons like the gyroscope and the touchpad and stuff like that. You can configure all the buttons to your liking. the PlayStation button, 
in here you go into controller configuration and in here you can choose any button you want and change it we can take the gyroscope here style input and you can choose it to be a mouse or any of the options down here Uh, you can also go up to your mouse, up to the mouse pad. You can split it into two different fields, or you can just have it like one big uh, touchpad thing and uh, have it whatever you feel like. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and uh, give it a like if uh, if you if it helped you. Bye.